But if they somebody say I'm about to hop in the car, that means I'm about to go spend. Period. There, there, there you go. And, and they ain't lying either. If you, I, them, especially the Philly, them, them Philly youngins, I'm telling you, bro, they're like 17, 18 years old, and they don't got no sense of nothing. They just want to go, they just want to go hop in the car. What it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fetty with the Fetty. Back at y'all with another video, man. Y'all know why we here to handle business. But before we handle that business, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it again, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to say it one more. Matter of fact. Like, comment, subscribe. Before I gotta beat you up, man, y'all know what's going on. Look, if y'all like sports, y'all watch sports, y'all enjoy sports, tap into my sports reaction channel. It will be up there. Also, link will be in the description. Straight sports reactions, we know. Football, basketball, college, professional, whatever the case may be, we getting it in over there. Appreciate y'all. I know y'all rock with me, so I rock with y'all. And I rock with y'all because I know y'all rock with me. And we got Hop Out Blick, man, a Philly rapper who snitched on himself. I ain't gonna lie. This on my side of the, you know, this on my side of the world. You feel me? I, I'm, I'm in tune to the Philly, you know, YBC, Black Flag, Zoo Gang, all, you know, I'm in, I'm in tune. I'd have heard about how about Blick, and I heard he really was hopping out with them Blicks. You hear me? Let's, let's see what's going on there. Y'all know Philly, <laughs> Philly gets dangerous. It, it, it get wicked. So we better tap in, man. Let's get it. A lot of street rappers talk about what's going on in the trenches. For sure. But the rapper we're talking about today took self snitching to a whole new level. After allegedly leaving some ops dead in a brutal shooting, he hopped in a booth and told everyone exactly how it went down. And now he's facing life in prison over the situation. This is the crazy story of Hop Out Blick. Rap fans know that cities like Chicago and Atlanta have crazy street drama. Rappers like Lil Durk, King Von, and FBG Duck put the Warren Chirac on the map. And now Young Thug and his YSL crew are wrapped up in a crazy Rico case in Atlanta for allegedly running drugs and putting bags on Ops' heads. But what most people don't know is that Philadelphia can get just as wild. See, this, this is what I'm going to say. All over the city. This is what I'm going to say about certain cities, right? Like Philly, like Chicago, like Atlanta, like Merlin. Niggas got buttons. It ain't no just we hopping out with a, a, a Glock 17 and we got niggas got buttons, bro. Like, and if you got a button, you, you, you putting yourself at a very, very good advantage. Like, cities like 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 New York, they don't walk around with buttons, bro. Like, it's, it, it just ain't the culture out there. L.A., I don't think they walk around with buttons, bro. Like, Chicago, buttons. If you don't got a button, you kind of... Philly, buttons. Like, if you don't got no, it's three things that's acceptable when it's, if you really beefing. Like, if you don't got them, it kind of at a disadvantage. A button, a ARP, or a Drake. If you don't got them three things and you coming out there with a standard, regular little trigger, no, no binary, no nothing, you're kind of hit, bro. I'm sorry. By the time you able to let four shots off, shorty with the button with that vec that whole 40 in it, <laughs> It's over. You can't. You can't fight that, bro. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. And I, the Philly niggas don't play. They really got buttons. <laughs> no cap. They were breaking down the brutal gang war. All of them. Buttons. Out Blake catching two murder charges. He came up in an area of the city called Germantown, which has been getting more and more violent since the 2010s. A lot of gang wars in the rap game start with someone getting killed in the street. But according to rumors, this one was sparked by people just throwing hands at the gas station. ARP. It's not clear exactly and buttons. What went down, I told y'all, but it's I'm not bluffing. A crazy wave of violence that's still getting people killed today. Germantown has a lot of active sets in the area, but today we're breaking down what happened with PNB and the West Side Mafia. PNB is one of the most well-known crews in the city after PNB Rock blew up in the industry and put him on the map. But his brother Steph was actually one of the first deaths in the war with the West Side Mafia. PNB Rock came up in the trenches of Germantown and got active at a young age. He was getting into fights at school all the time, and at 13, he got sent to Juvie on a robbery charge. Juvie didn't keep him out of the streets though, and at 19, he went to prison for over two years and was homeless for a while when he came back outside. He started writing rhymes while he was locked up, and that's when Rock decided to switch up how he moved and make it out of the streets. He started dropping music in 2014 and signed his first major deal a year later with Atlantic Records. Rock took everything to another level in 2016 when he hit the Billboard Hot 100 with the track Selfish. Hey, when Shawty was out, when PNB Rock was in his glow, I'm selfish. 
I want you to order myself. I swear, hey, he had the streets banging. I'm telling you. Just think of, look, if you're around my age, like 24, I should say, if you was old enough to understand what was going on in 2014 and you had a girl or whatever the case may be, just think of the, one of the, the most gangster niggas, most gangsterous niggas y'all knew. They were singing that shit. No cap. <laughs> no cap. I'm talking about, I'm selfish. I want you all to myself. I swear you don't need nobody else. I swear that shit was a nigga's playlist, bro. No cap. <laughs> he had given up the street life and was already popping off in the industry. No cap. But back in Philadelphia, his family and old crew were about to get involved with one of the deadliest beefs in the city. In 2016, the year that PNB Rock hit the mainstream, his brother Steph was in the whip with a girl when a shooter rolled up and started letting off shots. Steph got hit in the body, and by the time the cops got there, he was already dead. Nobody was ever booked for killing Steph, but rumors say a dude from the West Side Mafia named Nemo was behind the hit. Nemo was one of the biggest hitters for the West Side, and after he allegedly killed Steph, rumors say that PNB put a major bag on his head. A year after Steph was murdered, Nemo was visiting his girlfriend and spending time with his three-month-old son when he allegedly got a phone call to come outside. Damn. It's not clear who made the call, but when Nemo walked out of the house, someone ran up and killed him with Damn. a shot to the head. Hop out Blick reps PMB and another crew called the Tortures, and he's been dissing Nemo ever since. Like on the track Where You Been, when he raps, we don't shoot from cars, you know we jumping out on feet, and we flame they whole car, cause they was trying to jump out that Jeep. Ain't no lacking on this block, Lil Saw in every car he see. Ain't no capping in my rhymes, bro, I'll be in them cars for weeks. I'm trying to do a nigga like Nemo got, send something to the sea. And, 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 and for the people that don't know our lingo out here on the East Coast, Hopping in them cars, man, we bending. I mean, or not we, because I don't bend nothing. Only thing I'm bending, I might bend the J on accident if I sit on it in the car or something. But if they somebody say I'm about to hop in the car, that means I'm about to go spin, period. There, there, there you go. And, and they ain't lying either. If you, I, them, especially the Philly, them, them Philly youngins, I'm telling you, bro, they're like 17, 18 years old, and they don't got no sense of nothing. They just want to go, they just want to go hop in the car. I'm telling y'all. And on the track, so many names, he raps. Nemo caught a face shot. Ski like caught a head shot. He was trolling on that gram, and that shit got his man shot. After Nemo died, Westside Mafia allegedly slid into their territory and ended up killing an innocent teenager named Damn. Jai Kustas. In September 2017, Jai Kustas was hanging out with some friends on the 100 block of East Pistorius in East Germantown when someone pulled up and let off shots into the crowd. Four people got hit, Damn. including Jai's little cousin. But Jai was the only one who didn't make it out alive. Rumors say he was cool with dudes from PNB, but wasn't actually active in the streets. After he died, his family told reporters that he was a good student who loved playing basketball and wanted to become a doctor. But he was tragically caught up in the beef between PNB and the West Side Mafia and left dead in the street. While the shooting was going down, Jai was trying to save everyone around him and told his little cousin, if I get shot, I get shot. There were a bunch of kids in the street and Jai was trying to make sure they were all safe. Instead of ducking into a house and keeping himself safe, Jai stayed outside to help and ended up getting shot in the back and dying. PNB Rock was already out of the streets and working with some of the biggest artists in the world when Jai got killed, but he still shouted him out on the track Lost You To The Game back in 2021. Rock also rapped about his brother Steph and said, I'm on now, but I'm missing my game. Steph ain't even get to see when I cop that new Musain. And Shizzy ain't get to see the jet. We're in all these private planes. Rest in peace, my young nigga Jai. Got killed when he was only 16. Ops took an innocent soul, man. He wasn't even in the game. Damn. In an interview with Hood Life Media, Hop Out Blick said that PNB Rock inspired everyone in the set. He showed everyone that you could really make it out of the streets and into the rap game. Blick was raised by his grandma in Germantown and said it was wild coming up there. Blick has been in the streets for a long time, but he only started rapping seriously around 2021. How about Blick never thought he was going to be a rapper, but PNB Rock proved that dudes from the Philly trenches could make it out. So Blick and his homies started trying to do the same thing. But before Blick ever hopped in the booth, he was allegedly getting active in the war between PNB and the West Side Mafia. And in 2018, the beef led to another innocent teenager getting killed. On September 5th, 2018, a 19 year old woman named Destiny was chilling on a friend's porch in the west side of German Town. knows why it happened, but around 7 p.m., two shooters rolled through and let off shots at Destiny and her friends. Another guy got shot and was left paralyzed for life. Look, though, y'all, like on some real, all jokes are sad. Bruh, no funny, bro. Them young are so, they so throwed off in the head, bro. They really going to, like, they go get back. It's real like I go under their ops hood and just shoot whoever out there. 
They don't got they don't gotta have nothing to do with nothing. But if they in they ops hood and they from they live where they ops live at, they a part of it. And they like that's really how they think, bro. That's Philly that's why Philly's so like a lot of cities though, bro, be the youngest. It don't even be the older the, the niggas that's more established who who know what's going on that it be the youngest, bro. The youngest it's no guidance, bro. And they, they don't care. You know why? Cause they go they go catch a they go catch a hat at fourteen. They going to juvie. They getting juvenile life in a lot of states, bro. They go they they go steal this car at sixteen. Slap on the wrist. I'm telling you, fool. They, 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 them youngest, bro. I, I'm t- I say this all the time, like on some just joking or I'm, but I really be dead serious, bro. I'm not getting into it with no youngin. They don't care. They don't got. They don't. They don't see past eighteen or they don't see past twenty. They don't see. They don't picture themselves when they forty years old. Got a fan, bro. They they living for it, literally today and uh, whatever happened happened. Them youngins, bro. No cap. While Destiny got hit and tragically died five days later in the hospital, the next loss that PNB took was another rapper from the set named PNB Shizzy. In January 2019, Shizzy and his homie Dante Smith were sitting in the whip when someone shot them both. Police responded to the scene, and both of them were rushed to the hospital. But unfortunately, neither of them made it out alive. Damn! What makes the situation even crazier is that they were killed by someone who was sitting in the car with them. Shizzy and Dante were in the front of the whip, and whoever pulled the trigger was sitting behind them in the back seat. Then a few months later, PMB allegedly got revenge by taking out a dude from the west side named Sturdy. Sturdy Damn. was chilling on the block with a homie when two shooters ran up and dumped 16 shots at them. Sturdy's homie got hit twice but was still able to run away, but one of the bullets caught Sturdy in the head and he was pronounced dead just a couple hours later at the hospital. Police said that Sturdy had a strap in his waistband when they arrived at the scene, but apparently the ops got the drop on him and killed him before he had the chance to up it. Like, no, I, y'all might think I'm joking, fool. This Philly shit get crazy, bro. Like, I was on Reddit at one, one time. Like, this was probably like a couple months ago, right? And one of them Philly, them Philly niggas caught up with, with, a, with a youngin. On my soul, they got up with him. It was a picture of a buddy on the ground. Like after they got up with him, he had an ARP in his dip. If you know what an ARP is, it's an AR pistol, bro. Like y'all should know what an ARP is if you don't look it up. It was in his dip, and in his dip mean like you know when people put the, the gun in their pants, like towards their crotch. That's what we call that in your dip. It was an ARP in his dip. He just ain't get to pull it out fast enough, bro. Like it's a war in Philly, bro. No cap. The West Side lost another no cap. Named Gunner in 2020. Gunner was allegedly putting major pressure on PNB and the crews are clicked up with. And in January 2020, some shooters from PNB allegedly caught Gunner outside and killed him. Gunner was a big loss for the West Side, and Hop Out Blick dissed him on the track so many names when he rapped. Gunner came out the crib eating Doritos, dead up. Mikey got caught trying to shovel snow. They left him flaming hot. I'm the real Hop Out Blick. They know a Hop Out Blick a lot. Chase him down, and if he fall, you know you best end over top. In 2021, the allegedly bro. innocent dude was murdered in the war between PNB and the West Side just because he was cool with some street dudes. Cam Scott Bay was a 19-year-old artist who painted a landscape at a local elementary school and wanted to work on cartoons and video games. Cam rapped on the side too, but according to people close to the situation, he wasn't active in the streets at all and was just friends with some dudes who were in the trenches. But even chilling with the ops is enough to turn you into one in a wild place like Philly. I told no cap. 2021, Cam was standing on the street waiting for a friend when someone came through and killed him. Hop out, Blake jumped in the studio and started dropping drill tracks around 2021 and 2022. And he started airing out the beef on tracks like so many names when he raps. Mikey died trying to shovel snow. They left him fucked. He was dissing on the gram and the next day sent him up. You ain't bending for your man. You ain't do shit when he got plucked. Bro, you heard what they did to Cam? They ran down on him, hit him up. How about Blick wasn't just dissing Westside Mafia in his music though. He went live May 2022 on hey. IG with some dudes from a set called YBC and started sending shots at dead ops. One of the dudes commenting on the live was a PNB affiliate named Tino. Then just a few hours later, three shooters caught Tino and murdered him in the middle of the street. The cops were right there when it went down and started busting at the shooters. But they were able to get away and nobody was ever booked for killing Tino. That shit Tino crazy, bro. Was held a week after he was killed. And on the same day, a dude from the west side got caught pumping gas and was allegedly shot by PNB. Look, y'all! Dixon from the west side stopped at a gas station in Germantown on the day of Tino's funeral. And that's when two shooters hopped out of a whip and killed him in broad daylight. It's not clear if Blick was on the hit, but he dissed Brandon on the track so many names. Shit crazy. Said, this that gas station lack. This that 30 on pump 5. Niggas know the torture, steady blitzing shit. This shit for Jod. 
real get backers. They ain't even take a week when Tino died. How about Blick came up repping PNB, but he's also part of a crew of younger dudes called the Tortures. The first official video he dropped on YouTube is for his track Torture Party, where he rapped, Fuck Gunna, dig him up, that's another brainless op. Headshot him, big tortures, no we only aim at tops. Big oppas, big scorchers. No, we torture niggas. Bro, right, that shit corny. Wanna be a torture? <laughs> yeah, you gotta torture op. Don't be a bitch. Hop in the bees. Hop, hop out. out hop in the glock. Ooh. After Dixon was killed, the Westside Mafia allegedly murdered Blake's homie Chucky. A rapper from Westside Mafia named Pugger dropped a diss track after it went down, and in the video, he's holding a gun to the head of a Chucky doll, which made a lot of people think he was involved with the murder. He's locked up on a murder charge right now but it's not clear if it's over the Chucky situation or something else. Losing Chucky and his other homies didn't slow Blake down at all in the streets. And in April 2023, he was allegedly involved in one of the most brutal killings in Philadelphia. According to police reports, Blake and some other dudes set up a gun sale but plan on robbing the guys who wanted to buy the strap. Hop out Blake and his crew showed up to the crib, but the situation went left and shots started going off. Four teenagers on the other side got hit, and three of them tragically died at the scene. Blick went on the run and kept on dropping music, but a few months later, the cops caught up to him and booked him on two murder charges. Rumors say that someone in PNB is already snitching on Blick, and the cops have a bunch of evidence from the scene. Dang. But Blick's own lyrics will probably be used against him too. In an unreleased track, he rapped, We fried La, now we can't pop no more willies. Them big ass 40 holes look like he fell to 10 milli. They should have played it smart and just gave up them glizzies. They made a wrong move, then my twin lit off the switchy. He took that risk, and we shot Leaky in his kidney. This nigga got me teed. Like how you make it to the dot? They can't stop the tease, because we keep torching on their block. Are y'all hearing what he's saying, bruh? Like, are y'all... If y'all really didn't hear what he just said, rewind the video, bruh, and just read the lyrics. You only got to listen to Buddy say, read the lyrics, bruh. And I ain't gonna lie, bruh. Where I'm from, bruh, we call that telling they ass shit, bruh, on my mother. Like, no funny, bruh. He's telling they ass shit. Like... This shit crazy. Blake pretty much laid out <laughs> exactly crazy. how the shooting went down on the track instead of laying low and keeping his head down. He talks about being inspired by PNB Rock to make it in the industry, but obviously Blick was more focused on putting in work in the trenches and now when people are dead and hop out Blick is facing life in prison for kill. Hey bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I, I didn't did a couple I'm gonna put them I'm gonna put them at the end screen of this video. I didn't did a couple Philly videos and they always do numbers, bro. But cause it's real, like it ain't no fabrication and like these young is really on that, bro. Like, and a lot of people don't, they don't know. They think, like I always say, they think of Chicago and all the LA games and, you know, like all the, you know, Jacksonville, man. And, and I be saying this a lot. I live down south, bro. The, the laws is a lot, lot, lot lean, more lenient down there. A lot of them, them, them young is come up here, come up the East Coast, come up, up north, whatever y'all want to call it. And hop in, them fit, hop in that field, it'll go a lot different. Like, these youngers don't care, bro. No cap. And it's, it's crazy. It's sad, but it's part of the environment, bro. And it's like, shit, if they don't, they don't hit first, they're going to get hit. That's really how they live. That's how it is, though. That's how it goes. Straight up. With that being said, man, it's Ty Fatty with the Fatty. Make sure y'all go tap into my sports reaction channel if y'all like sports, bro. Y'all know how it, how it go. Also, make sure y'all stay smart, bro. Stay dangerous. I'm going to catch y'all next time, man. I'm gone.